I love it so much. Oh, I'm gonna live here forever. Uh, no. Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Manka or Miss Cameroon. Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. About six months ago, I actually uploaded a video and I was talking about um, like my life in Ghana after living here for a year. And in that video, I basically did like a massive life update and just spoke to you guys and I feel like that's definitely needed again so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video giving you like a major major life update um it has been like in like a few days it will be like a year and a half since I've been living in Ghana so I felt like that's like a good amount of time for me to just tell you how um life is going and just even like how 2021 is going as a year overall just like a six month check-in um a lot has been going on and i have been absent on youtube obviously i've still been posting videos but the videos that i've been posting is like sponsored content so um i have to post those um but we'll talk more about that soon but in terms of me actually speaking to you i haven't done that if you can hear noise in the background it's the air conditioning and i'm so so sorry i'm not gonna turn it off <laughs> so try and ignore that um i do have makeup on but everything else is very casual because i just want this to be just a nice chat for us to just speak i did try and upload this not upload to record this yesterday but my son rico would not let me speak like he sat here right now on the floor my dog if you don't know he sat on the floor right now behaving but yesterday he wasn't trying to behave so i couldn't upload it and it, everything happens for a reason because yesterday i probably would have broken down because i have definitely been feeling very very overwhelmed so where should i start let's just start with uh youtube as a whole i feel like when it comes to like work and money, if you guys don't know the way that I make that I make money, sorry, before I go into this, I just want to do a quick disclaimer that this is me just getting things off my chest. This is just me expressing my feelings. This is almost like a diary because I know that there are some of you that actually care. Um, some of you have actually messaged me and asked me like if I'm okay and what's going on and like where I've been and stuff like that. So disclaimer, I'm just venting, okay? So obviously I make my money with, with, by selling hair, selling wigs, and also YouTube. I make money on YouTube. The ways that I make money on YouTube is by AdSense. So the adverts that are placed in the videos, as you guys are watching, I get paid. You can also get paid by sponsorships, which recently I have been getting paid by sponsorships and that's the hair reviews that you see which is why there have been a lot of hair reviews because right now my views are not as high so if i'm relying just on adsense payments alone like your girl would have nothing <laughs> nothing not enough to live um so the sponsorships are very very helpful um hair companies do pay me to review their hair and that's what i've been doing so that's what you guys have been seeing so i get paid through that um, another way you can get paid on YouTube is via affiliate links, but I haven't really dabbled into that. That's like, let's say I was advertising psh, this hair glue and I'm like, oh, like I'm going to link it below. The link below could be an affiliate link and I would get like a small percentage if you were to buy it through that link. But I, I don't have anything. So yeah, that's how I get paid right now. It's mainly sponsorships. Um, and that's fine. I feel like the reason why my views are not where I would like them to be is one, because I'm not really being consistent. And I'll tell you why I'm not being consistent soon. And also just because um, maybe I'm not providing the kind of content that you guys want to see. The issue with all of this is the fact that 
it's very hard like you see if you have a nine to five it's it's easy to just go to work you might not even care about your job but you go to work you come home at the end of the month you get paid whereas with youtube like it feels like you're always working not just youtube but like youtube and like social media as a whole like it feels like you're always working and also with my wigs as well it feels like i'm always working because when i'm not physically making wigs or shipping out wigs or installing wigs i'm promoting my wigs like i'm showcasing my wigs on snapchat and instagram like it feels like i'm always working and when it comes to youtube if i put out something especially if i put a lot of effort into that something and it's not like it hasn't got the kind of views that i would like um it shouldn't but it does affect me like like it's almost like validation from the internet which is, i mean shouldn't be a thing but like sometimes it's a thing and that's sometimes how i feel um so it's been really hard for me like if i see a view that like an amount of views that i don't i don't like it's like ugh. Like it, it just discourages me to post and discouraging me to post means that I'm affecting my income essentially which obviously is not good <laughs> why have I not been wanting to post like why has my consistency not been where it wants to be because I've got a lot of videos that I would like to film that I know that there are people that want to see why haven't I been doing them obviously I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm in a completely different I mean if you have been paying attention I'm in a different background to where I was before. And I, rem I remember coming on here telling you guys like, oh guys, like I found an apartment and I love it so much. Oh, I'm going to live here forever. Uh, no. <sighs> I'm going to do a whole, I promise I actually am. I'm going to upload it in like the next few, few days. But I basically got made homeless. Like essentially, like, it was completely out of my control. Like I actually got made homeless. And I feel like that situation, it really hurt me. Obviously when I do the story time, like you guys will understand in depth because I will really go in depth and show my receipts and everything. But that situation really, really hurt me because like it was like in a deceitful way. And I feel like that's something that I've been really dealing with um while i've been adulting like people people are liars like obviously i know people are liars but like people can really like lie like it's nothing so yeah i got made homeless and obviously where i've been staying like my stuff is literally everywhere um like i just haven't been able to like feel at peace like my stuff is everywhere here and i'm only here for like a short space of time but just everything happened so quickly so like i haven't had the like enthusiasm like to the point where like i don't want to say depressed but i definitely have been sad because like there are days where like i just don't really want to get out of bed i don't really want to talk to people like my replies are really really bad and that's just because like in my surroundings like, i don't feel comfortable um i feel like your surroundings definitely play a big part in how you feel um like in everything so that's why like before when i was telling you guys about like the when when i spend money on rent and how i don't mind to spend a considerable amount of money on rent is because i like to feel comfortable like i need to feel like at peace to be able to work because i work from home like my wigs and all of that stuff i work from home which brings me on to my next thing i really had my eyes set on this salon hello rico I really had my eyes set on this salon, um, not too far from like um, the area that I live in, because I, the area that I live in that I got kicked out of, like I'm still like around the same kind of area, and <clears throat> there were these two um, shops up for rent, and like the issue was is like how can I describe it? It's like a block of like let's say like eight shops upstairs and downstairs and these shops were upstairs and the price was really really good it was like something that i could afford well i could have significantly downgrade on the kind of property that i live in which i didn't necessarily want to do but in my head i was thinking if i can get my shop i'll like and turn it into a salon i'll be there most of the time and then I'll be working so hard that I'll get more money to be able to live where I want to live, right? 
so the problem with that was that um one the there was another salon like just further down and there were two shops that were available there was one that was available that was right next to the salon which obviously is like bad business like even if the landlord said yeah that's fine i just feel like it would just seem a bit unnecessary like unnecessary competition unnecessary hate so i wanted one that was like further down so it wouldn't we wouldn't literally be like rivals um but that shop got taken like by the time i was able to like financially sort myself out with it it got taken which was disappointing but it's like things happen and then as well i found out that um there are certain like um payments that have to be made off the top of my head i can't think about it i can't think of it right now but like there was like a fee of like one thousand two hundred dollars i think for like a worker's permit or something like that um that i wasn't prepared for because i hadn't done my research properly i was just thinking about it as like oh uk you pay your rent obviously your business is registered and then like you pay taxes like everybody else and no there was it was there was more to that so that was kind of a bit disheartening let me even think of something that is positive that has been happening because i don't want this video to be like really miserable um obviously back to the sponsorships like these sponsorships have been such a great help oh my god you don't understand like i'm able to make a steady payment the steady income from the sponsorships and honestly if i didn't have these sponsorships right now i would i would be broke i can actually say that because with my hair business um i haven't been restocking i have basically i'm basically trying to sell out what i have um because i want to like upgrade so i really want to like provide like hd lace with my wigs and i just want i just want it to be better so because i want it to be better i'm not really promoting as i should be i mean it's kind of my fault because i can live off of just wigs alone but i haven't really been promoting i haven't really been doing too much again because of the space that i'm in like i'm like i, I don't really have the kind of space that i'm used to working with like a lot of my stuff is like in boxes so like if i need like bleach or if i need like color like everything's literally everywhere so that's literally been like it's just ugh. i just have just wanted to just get in the bed and just knock it out and my kind of escape was supposed to be going to england for a bit a couple videos ago i said that i wanted to like go to england for a bit and just like number one just take a little break from ghana and like recoup and do a bit of shopping and like see my friends and my family i have not been able to do that because i can't take rico you got you guys that are not dog lovers think oh like just leave rico number one who am i leaving rico with and two like to leave rico for such a long time like i don't i wouldn't be able to do it the reason i can't take rico is because is because he needs um for the uk to allow him to come he needs like a specific um rabies shop he needs two of them and the wait time in between two shops is like three months or something even though he does not have rabies but that's the uk's requirements because i'm coming from a country that is not on like a specific list it's an unlisted country which to me is crazy like it actually feels like here i am with like my british passport and obviously rico doesn't have a british passport because he wasn't born in england and it's like so much harder for him can you stop can you relax he's literally he's crazy can you chill so yeah there's that that's really upset me because <sighs> there were like other countries that I wanted to go to in Europe and I can't take Rico so yeah that upset me a lot um and I felt like I really needed that I just needed just a tiny little break just a little break and this kind of happened after like obviously with the whole like being made homeless situation With the being made homeless situation, like after that, I was like, no, like my my mental health, <laughs> my mental health cannot handle 
one more thing going wrong and then I couldn't take him and I was like I was going out a lot a lot I wasn't really talking to people but I was I was going out a lot drinking a lot and then yesterday last night when I was about to film this like video to get things off my chest my um the light that I film with broke out of the blue it's just not working so I had to wait and I'm filming with like natural light just so many little things have been like bothering me again like just please just allow me to just get it off my chest because this is helping me a lot Rico you're biting me stop that it hurts kids another thing that has kind of been affecting me is that I don't know <laughs> another thing that has like kind of been affecting me is that I think I've been feeling a bit like lonely um let me put him down because he's crazy crazy say i'm bad bye look at how big he is though he used to be so small now he's just so long anyway bye Don't come here and knock over my camera. Sit nicely, good boy. Another thing that has been affecting me, so <sighs> affecting me is that, I don't know how to describe it, but I basically feel like I got to 25, right? And I kind of had like kind of quarter life crisis and my views on things are a lot different. And when it comes to like friendships, my views are definitely different. I just feel like, there are certain friends that I have, certain friends I have, that I just don't meet the certain requirements that I would love to have as a friend, which I think is okay to say. If anyone's watching this, I don't get offended. <laughs> um, but I just feel like I got to the point where I realized that like certain friends serve certain purposes and that's okay. Like if you want to go out, you might have a friend that that's your friend for going out, but that might not, not necessarily be your friend that you share all your deepest, darkest secrets with. Do you get what I mean? So, there's that. What else? We've talked about my homelessness. We've talked about my finances. We've talked about my lack of content creating because of said homelessness mainly. Um, can't go to England. Not feeling friendships. What else? Is there anything I've missed? I'm just feeling a bit sad, which kind of the whole thing just, yeah, just feeling a bit, just feeling a bit meh, yeah. which happens sometimes. And, I say all of this to basically say that all of this is how I've been feeling for like the past, I mean, realistically for like the past like month, month and a little bit. But I think it's okay to acknowledge such feelings and it's okay to kind of like, kind of review because there's still so much that can change. So many things can change. Like just because you're feeling like sad or like even depressed and a bit like hopeless it doesn't mean that things can't change for you um because even though that's how i'm feeling like i can actually say right now i'm not as happy as i could be but it doesn't mean to say that i'm gonna stay like that or that's how i'm gonna feel and again like this video is literally just to get it off my chest i actually feel like a lot better <laughs> a lot better um it's just to get it off my chest and like share and hopefully like when i do my next update like things will be a lot better um there are so many plans that i have for myself like in the next six months even in the next like two months um that will happen i'm very very optimistic that certain things are going to happen and certain changes are going to be made and i'm very aware that like as much as Oh, I might feel like I'm broke because I don't have a thousand pounds in my bank account. There are some people that 
literally have nothing and i still am humbled by how other people are living their life but it doesn't necessarily mean that like i'm trying to limit myself because i know my potential and i know what i can do do you know what i mean but yeah so i just wanted to share with you guys because like i said some of you have actually been like checking up on me and i honestly appreciate that and i just feel like with the direction that i would like to take my channel i feel like it's very important for me to be open and honest and express what kind of person that i am and make sure that i remember that as much as there are lots of people that appreciate me and appreciate my personality it's the internet some people don't like me and that's fine however do you see one thing that i will never understand is like cool you don't like me you don't like the content that i create that's fine but why do you feel the need to not only watch but comment like i don't understand anyway you know what i'm not even gonna go into that but that's how i've been feeling we're not gonna talk about any kind of love life because there is none at all <laughs> um i think that's it i think that's what i wanted to cover i just wanted to like check in with you guys and hopefully the next time that you see me oh no 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 not the next time you see me because i've, I've got videos to upload <laughs> um but soon i will be like in a better space physically mentally financially definitely i've actually even found my dream house god knows i have found my dream house and it's not like my dream forever house like my dream like i want to live there for at least a year house I can work from home house. I can raise my dog <laughs> house. Can you imagine? My dog has not had a stable home ever since I've had him. And he's four months old. He's four months old today. That's crazy. I've been so unstable. As much as I've been so grateful to be able to like live in like nice places and stuff like just in housing alone, it's been so unstable and that's not good for my mental health. I don't know about him, but me, guys just pray for your girl that's all i'm gonna say because i'm smiling but inside like my chest is tight tight but yeah let me go because otherwise i'll keep on talking and talking and talking but yeah man um things are coming you see some of the things if i if i'm able to that you guys are gonna see like some of you are gonna hate it but I'm still gonna show you <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are okay if you're actually not okay please message me um honestly please message me because i feel like it's sometimes you actually have to just let it off your chest and i feel like sometimes it's easier to let it off your chest to like a stranger i mean as much as obviously you guys know like know me through youtube like i'm still a stranger sometimes it's better to get it off your chest a stranger because sometimes people in your life have big mouths and they'll chat your business